Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm glad that you're here. I want to give you a vlog update today. There's a lot of things going on and specifically in my family. So I don't have a project today per se, but I do have some tips that I hope will be valuable for you and some things I wanna share with you, especially as a beginner that I want you to know. So stick around for just a second and we'll get right to it. <music> All right, so family time is busy for me. It's in full swing. We're back into homeschooling for this year, and I have two kids I'm homeschooling and two kids in diapers, so it's a busy time, and sometimes it's hard to get in the shop and to even get a video out, but I wanted to get a video out today for you guys because it's important to share the things that I'm learning and to help you, and you may be in the same boat as me, and you know you need some things to, to help you out. So I wanna talk about a couple things I've been working on, one is a Dutch tool chest. Now, I'm gonna showcase this when I'm finished with it, but I desperately needed a tool chest because I have tools laying everywhere and I need to be organized. So, look for that in the future. I'm gonna be bringing that to you guys just to show you uh, what you can what you can do, what you can make. It's not you know terribly difficult and it's a great way to get organized. So, look out for that one. Number two, Last week, I did a whittling video and I showed you a wizard that I whittled for the first time. I was really excited about how he turned out. So I wanted to show you how he came out after he was painted. Pretty cool, I'm excited about this. I mean, this is the very first time I carved a character and painted a character. So I just wanted to show you that's what you can do as a beginner. Now. I also carved a second one for my daughter's birthday, which I'm really excited about, and it's this guy. So he looks a little different. He's got a red hat, he's got a little bit longer mustache, but what's so much fun about carving is that they're all different, and you can purposely make them different, but no two will ever be the same. I mean, even if you tried to make two the same, well, you could actually technically make two the same, but it's just really fun to see how they turn out. I always like them to be different. So I was really excited to work on that project, and my daughter's birthday is actually today, so it's uh, a really exciting. So we did this little thing in our family where we each make each other a handmade gift for our birthday. And it can't be from the store. You can get stuff from the store, but you have to make something. That's, that's our rule. That's what we do. It's just for fun. And our kids are all into making stuff. And it's just it's a lot of fun. And quite frankly, it's way better than the store-bought stuff. So anyway, maybe think about doing that. So th that's, that's the things I've been working on. Now, I want to talk about painting your carvings. So last week, as I said, I did a video on whittling. I showed you the guys just a few minutes ago that I whittled. Okay, we're through that. Now, if you haven't started yet, I encourage you to go get a book and just get started. But as far as the painting goes, all you need is a few things. You just need a few brushes, some acrylic paints. I typically get folk art brand or Americana, something like that from Hobby Lobby or Michaels or whatever. It's very inexpensive and just Get that, use that, and then an antiquing solution is optional. It's what I like to use that gives the characters, let me show you, gives them the highlights and the brown and just, you know, kind of gives you a texture or it shows the texture in your character. So the antiquing solution is awesome. Just get those few things. It's really all you need. And if you want a good resource on how to paint your carvings, go to Doug Outside on YouTube. I really love his videos. He's a lot of fun, and he's who inspired me to start whittling. And I hope someday to connect with him because he's just a really fun guy. But in the future, I will have painting tutorials, and I will have carving tutorials. But for now, I haven't had a chance to make them yet and put them out. So if you want to get a good resource right now, again, Go see Doug outside. It's really awesome. So that's pretty much all you need to get started in painting. And then, um, let's see, one other tip. Okay, so when you're getting your supplies, you may be on a budget, just like me. A lot of times I don't have a lot extra to spend, and I need to do everything I can to stay within my budget and to just, just be responsible like that. So if you're going to Michael's or Hobby Lobby, 
make sure to use the 40% off coupon. You can pull it right up on your smartphone or on your home computer and print it. Uh, it's I've never seen them not run this. So let's say something's 10 bucks. You got a 40% off coupon. It's about $6 then after that. So make sure to use it. Every bit helps. And so I just wanted to point that out just in case you didn't know that they always run those coupons. And really pretty much other than that, if you haven't started into whittling yet, I just encourage you to dive right in because you can do really fun stuff. You can do this as a beginner, no problem. Again, let me show you. These are my very first two carvings and I think they look great. I'm really excited about them. They make fantastic gifts. I'm going to drill a couple holes in the back of these, put some craft magnets in them. Again, I got those from Hobby Lobby. Stick them up on the fridge. And actually, my daughter's going to do whatever she wants because these two are for her birthday. But when I make more, that's what I'm going to do. And you can make them into ornaments. Hey, we got Christmas coming up. Well, we got Halloween coming up. Make some ornaments. Make some magnets. It's a lot of fun. So anyway, I won't keep rambling on and on. But I do thank you for being here today, for watching this. If you have any questions at all, please reach out to me uh, through my website, JP the Woodworker. Dot com. My email's up there. It's john at jpthewoodworker.com or comment on my YouTube video. I'd love it. And if you want, um, share it with your friends. Maybe subscribe. I hate I hate making that pitch at the end, but if you do, it'll help me out and uh, I'd appreciate it. So anyway, until next time, always remember life's most important order. Love God, love each other, and woodwork. We'll see you next time.